So I'm Larry Gehring with uh, Red Deer Traveling Crew and I brought my eight-man crew down to the Camor service point uh, for the Sulphur Mountain at the um, Banff Hot Springs. It's a new 25 kV rebuild feeder for the Banff Gondola. Arctic Arrow was here last fall and they rebuilt uh, it's about 20 21 structures they rebuilt and the nine left. They had set the poles last fall and now we're here stringing the spaced aerial conductor for it. There's a, a little um, higher environmental awareness in the area we're in. Um, there's several um, endangered species as far as there's some spruce trees up at the top that are an endangered species as well as <laughs> they call it the Banff snail which is close to our work area and we're having to stay out of that area and um, and then the, the terrain is, is pretty extreme as you can probably see. Working um, this spaced aerial conductor requires for an actual spacer to hold the wire. Um, it's actually an insulated conductor so that in case of trees or um, cable falling to the ground due to the terrain that it's in and response times for trouble, um, this cable is literally underground cable in the air. So putting those spacers on mid-span requires uh, a guy to ride in a harness and he actually goes from one structure to the other um, pulling with a capstan hoist and a rope and pulls him from dolly to dolly and at each dolly we swap out to a spacer and continue up the mountain. And it's, a, it's a pretty cool new thing. Most of the guys have never um, experienced anything like leaving a structure it's a, it's a new thing. You climb a pole and you do the work and you climb down. Well, these guys are climbing the pole and then they go for a ride on the wire and they end up uh, coming down the next structure or the couple structures away. Mm -hmm.